One of the lingering questions about the periodic table is the role inspiration played in Dmitry Mendeleev's creation. It's often said that this came to Mendeleev in a dream or that he may have woken from a dream and scribbled out the first periodic table on the back of an envelope. But the idea that the table came to Mendeleev in a single flash of inspiration doesn't square with the evidence. Mendeleev began working on the table on Friday, February 14, 1869, while looking for a way to organize the textbook he was writing. Since I'd set out to write a book called Principles of Chemistry, I felt I had to establish a system for classifying the elements. A system based not on chance or guesswork, but on some sort of principle. We actually have rough drafts of the periodic system from that weekend. What the drafts show is a man groping towards an arrangement of the elements, not writing down a clear vision that came to him in a flash. In fact, Mendeleev was still struggling with the problem when a driver arrived on Monday morning to take him to the train station. We know this because one of the surviving fragments is a letter delivered that morning concerning arrangements for the trip he was supposed to make that day. And on the back of the letter, which still bears the stain of a cup, Mendeleev has sketched a few symbols and has carried out some very simple calculations. He's looking at differences in atomic weights. So he still hadn't licked the problem, even after wrestling with it all weekend. The drafts of Mendeleev's table show plainly the struggle he went through. At the bottom of the page, he lists the elements to be classified. Like anyone else, he makes a list. And then as he fits them into the table on that page, he crosses out the elements. It's just what you and I would do. Mendeleev seems, through this draft, like one of us. He's making mistakes. He's correcting them. We can see the effort in that page. It's full of crossings out. There are things that don't quite fit. This is a human being desperately trying to understand this world. As for the legend of Mendeleev's dream, I think what probably happened was that he worked so intensely on this material Alexander Alexeyev that he became exhausted. He took a nap. He woke up from the nap and took up where he'd left off. And I suppose the nap would have helped to clarify things. But Mendeleev's drafts leave no doubt. His achievement came about through hard work and struggle. I think it is contrary to what many people think is involved in science or in discovery in general. I think they think it's inspiration. They think poets go around wandering the whole day doing nothing and then in a flash of inspiration they write down the poem. But that's not the way the world goes. There is inspiration, but there is much more important perspiration. And we can see so clearly in this page of Mendeleev, this draft, we can see that human labor in it. It testifies to both the creativeness and the humanity of the person. It also, for me, is very encouraging for young people because it tells you if you want to create a masterpiece, you're going to have to make mistakes along the way. <laughs>